In this lecture, we are going to talk about TMT reinforcement steel. Generally, there are two types of TMT steel bars used for reinforcement work. FE415 and FE500. FE500D. FE denotes iron. Number 415 or 500 indicates minimum yield stress. And the letter D denotes bars having higher values of ductility. FE500 and 500D are most commonly used recently. As shown, the lower content of chemicals make 500D a better product by having better ductility, resistance to weather, and fire. The table shows the ductility and elongation properties of 500 and 500D. TMT bars along with concrete are able to carry large loads and offer protection to a structure against earthquake and wind storms. The advantages of TMT are provides higher bond strength as bonding with concrete is strong. TMT offers better fatigue strength. It can carry large and continuous varying loads. Less crack in RCC due to high bond with concrete. It can bend easily, which helps in providing various shapes and sizes. TMT steel butt or lap welded without loss of any strength or properties. The ribs on surface should be uniform. Diameter of bar should not vary. Rebar should not be brittle in nature but soft for working. The bar should not break into pieces during bending. Do's and Don'ts Ensure, length of each bar is between, 11, and 12 meters. The table shown, number of bars in a single bundle depending upon diameter of bar. Reinforcement steel should not be more corroded, and preferably be grayish in color. It should be free of grease, paint, and other foreign material. Ensure the weight per meter of steel bars, arrived on site is as per IS specifications. Each shipment should have a mill test certificate. It indicates chemical and physical properties of the lot. Ensure that the copies of this certification are kept in file. Certification may be submitted for the review and approval before the beginning of fabrication and delivery to the site. Field test for binding wire R should be of 16 gauge. Should be soft in working so the binding will be possible should not be corroded otherwise, it will break during binding. When tied, it should not loosen from its position.